So the leaf mod can bridge has arrived. So this is how it comes. This is the packaging it comes in. First the cardboard box and inside there's a antistatic bed. We just try to get this unpacked with one hand. Okay, so this is the connector and uh, we have a what is this thing? So it looks like a tree cam fuse um, a ground lock which I believe is supposed to go into a like a grounding screw on the car for it let me f continue from there so the first thing that I need to do is to disconnect the 12 volt battery so to do that we're gonna need one of these and just uh, cut the power and down the car you just come here and und undo this <laughs> peg dot and just lift it off, put it aside. So I have removed two panels from the car. Uh, the first one, this is the outer cover of the fuse box right here. And we will be tapping into one of these fuse lines for the 12 watt constant power. I've already checked like all of these here in the center column has uh, 12 volts all the time. So you should not be using any of the ones on the side. And the other one. This is the can line, I believe, which is indicated by the uh, blue and green line. So I'll, what I will be doing is I will be unplugging this connector and plugging in the can bridge connector and plugging this back into the female thread of the can bridge. So I will do this off camera and I will explain to you what I have done. Okay, so the CAN bus, the CAN bridge has been installed. What I've done is uh, inserted in a line. So this is the female plug of the CAN, CAN bridge. And this is the original connector from the car. So it goes into the female side of the CAN bridge. And the male side of the CAN bridge goes into the car downwards. And, uh, and I routed this cable behind the panel. And I've installed the fuse adapter. Uh, what I have done here, since that, since I didn't have any three slots available here, uh, I had to remove one one from the fist box and insert it into the second slot, the adapter. And this is the three ampere original uh, original fuse that came with it. And you just simply plug it in. And for the negative or the grounding grounding lugs, uh, I have attached it to this screw right here on the metal bar here. Um, that's about it. So the next step is to reconnect the turbo battery and power up the car to see what happens. Okay, here goes nothing. The moment of truth. I'm gonna uh, power up the car. Doors are hot dry. Any errors? Are there any errors? No, no errors. Okay, battery is at 63%. And I'm going to drive. Yes. Reverse empty wax. Okay, let's see how to turn on the DC fast charge limiter function. So right now my state of charge is at 63. And what you have to do is you have to switch the mode to feed and defer. So this sign here. And you have to turn off if you have it on circulation, you have to run it off. So fresh air will be coming in. So this is what they this is what they call the setting update mode. So after this, uh, for the fast charge setting, you have to shift, press the brake, like step on the brake, and you have to shift to D. So it immediately sh uh, shows 33%. 
I believe 33 is the way they visualize I use the DC fast charge setting at a 30 kilowatt rating. So basically that that is uh, controlled by doing the fan speed, the blower speed up and down. So one bar on the fan indicates 11, which is for setting the charge power at 10 kilowatts. Two bars, 22, which is for 20 kilowatts. Three, 20 kilowatts. Four, 40 kilowatts. Five, 50 kilowatts. I think that's the maximum limit you can set. And after that, it just go, goes back uh, into showing your state of charge. So right now I want to set it to 20 kilowatts. So I've set my fan speed to two and the dash so shows 22. And to exit the uh, set the up, setting update mode, you have to press the park button. So like shift, shift into park and that's it. Now your setting has been updated. So I suppose the next thing I need to do is to uh, tidy up this wiring and then go to a DC fast charger. I'll see you guys next. <sighs> well guys, I have plugged into the test charger and I'm waiting for it to start the session. So we'll make see what happens. Hopefully this thing will limit the charge to 20 kilowatts as I said before. seems to be ranting up yes it seems like it won't go past them to get up so the power ligator is working and things beautiful absolutely beautiful Let's go inside the car and see what's happening. Yes, seems to be charging. Can ah, can start. Yeah, it's fine. We know. Fifty-eight percent. Absolutely beautiful. Stock at 20 kilowatts. Gladdy marvelous. Thank you very much, Leaf Mud. The car is still fast charging. So one thing I realized, guys, is that uh, this fast charge limit cannot be changed while the car is charging, because it requires you to shift into D, and while the car is charging and plugged in, it, it won't let you go into D. So you will have to always set the desired charge limit before you actually plug in. Okay, so I, uh, before I left the house, I already set the state of charge limiter to 70%, so this thing should automatically stop charging at 70%. So I will stop the video right now and maybe start back up around 69% and see if, if the state of charge limiter does work for the fast charging. So the state of charge has reached 70% right now and it doesn't seem to be cutting out just yet. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to go past 70%. But I will just keep recording and let's see what happens. So as you can see, the three lights are still blinking, indicating charging. Okay, just reached 71%. Something happened, I heard a relay click. Uh, 
three lights are on together. Does that mean it's charged? Yes, it did. Beautiful. It did. It did end the session at 71%. Nice. Very nice. 